while I still have the F-150 in the garage from the previous tire balancing video, I thought I would do a demo on drive shaft balancing. So the axle is sitting on two axle stands. Both wheels are free to turn. even if this one is choosing not to on this conventional rear axle. The x-axis arrow on the ADXL335 is in this orientation facing up. I've got a little bit of double adhesive tape for protection and to help secure it. It's going to sit on top of the differential right here and will be further secured with a couple of tie wraps. I've wrapped a piece of black duct tape around the drive shaft as contrast on top of which I placed a small strip of white duct tape for the photocell. I will ultimately invest in some shorter dry pods for this HS4-2W bow, but for now I'm using what I got and I jerry-rigged it here on top of this tool. I'm using the same 80 kilo sample per second sample rate that I used in the last video, the same 100 hertz filter on channel 2 where the ADXL335 is. Automotive mode, record, let's have a look at it. I'm going to bring that up to 90 kilometers an hour. You know, that feels pretty good. Take a look. If you look at this, very low amplitude, you know, 0 0.05 G's plus or minus, and uh, no real sense of direction here as to where we would apply any weights. Uh, there are none really required. Um, this is a good drive shaft. So we're going to create an unbalance by putting a hose clamp on the drive shaft and see if our uh, HS402W bow can detect it. Okay, let's give it a run. Rev it up to 90 clicks. Yeah, that's rough. You can feel that. Stop it here. Have a look at it. I don't know if you see these beautiful oscillations that we are striving for with that ADXL335 guys. That's perfect. Picture perfect. We'll apply the overlay. And if we measure that peak, we're somewhere around 255 degrees. Let's go translate that onto the drive shaft. So we always follow the same procedure. The protractor is lined up to the position of where the photocell was. We index the rotor so that the tape lines up with the information that we got from our waveform, 255 degrees. And lo and behold, right up here is our hose clamp. What you say? The waveform showed to add weight and here's where we already have too much weight, right? I didn't have enough room to put the photocell on this side of the drive shaft. By going on this opposite side, it turns the orientation around and instead of the plus on the waveform saying add weight, it's really where you have to reduce weight. You'll know if you get this wrong. You're going to go and try to put a correction weight and it's going to make matters worse if you read it wrong. It's no big deal. The point is that HS42W bow was able to detect the unbalance, the position of the unbalance, and is providing us the tool required to add trial weights until we get this drive shaft in balance. 
For trial weights on this, it's possible to use tie wraps to hold the trial weight, but you need the really good heavy duty kind, the ones that have the metal clasp. The uh, Next time you get arrested, uh, take a good look at the um, tie wraps that the cop is using and um, get a, yourself a bunch of those. They would hold up to a 3.8 washer like this, and especially if you give it a small wrap with double adhesive tape so that it doesn't slip from underneath the tie wrap. Your total weight will be the washer that you use, the piece of double adhesive tape that you use, and the head of that tie wrap. For permanent corrections on weight like this, you can take a welding rod and know its weight per length without the flux and mark the position of your weight, put the ground on the drive shaft and burn a length of rod to achieve the required weight. These drive shafts shouldn't require very much weight to bring them in. If it's way, way off, something is wrong, look for a bent shaft, uh, look for uh, serious issues. That's all I got, guys. Take care.